the semifinal rounds. Question one. In Matthew chapter one, verses 14 through 15, Azor begot Zadok. Who was the son of Zadok? A. Achim. B. Eliud. C. Eleazar. In chapter 1, verses 14 through 15, Azor begot Zadok. Who was the son of Zadok? A. Achim. B. Eliud. C. Eleazar. Time. The correct answer is A. Achim. Question 2. In chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, how did the wise men know to come and worship him? A. They had been informed by an angel. B. They had seen his star in the east. C. They had been reading the scriptures. In chapter 2, verses 1 through 6, how did the wise men know to come and worship him? A. They had been informed by an angel. B. They had seen his star in the east. C. They had been reading the scriptures. Time. The correct answer is B. They had seen his star in the east. Question number three. In chapter three, verse five. What areas of the country was said to have gone out to him? A. Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region of Galilee. B. Jerusalem, some of Judea, and all the region around Jordan. C. Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region around the Jordan. In chapter 3. Verse 5, what areas of the country was said to have gone out to him? A, Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region around Galilee. B, Jerusalem, some of Judea, and all the region around Jordan. C, Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region around the Jordan. Time. The correct answer is C, Jerusalem, all of Judea, and all the region around the Jordan. Question 4. In chapter 4, verse 13, when he came, he dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, A, in the regions of Reuben and Gad, B, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, C, in the regions of Zareph and Nazareth. In chapter 4, verse 13, when he came, he dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea, A, in the regions of Reuben and Gad, B, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali, C, in the regions of Zareph and Nazareth. Time. The correct answer is B, in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali. Question 5. In chapter 5, verse 8, who did Jesus say would see God? A, the peacemakers. B, the pure in heart. C, the righteous. Chapter 5, verse 8. Who did Jesus say would see God? A, the peacemakers. B, the pure in heart. C, the righteous. Time. The correct answer is B, the pure in heart. Question 6. In chapter 6, verse 2, who did Jesus say sound a trumpet? When they do a charitable deed, A, the Pharisees, B, the hypocrites, C, the Romans. Chapter 6, verse 2. 
chapter 6, verse 2. Who did Jesus say sounds a trumpet when they do a charitable deed? A, the Pharisees. B, the hypocrites. C, the Romans. Time. The correct answer is B, the hypocrites. Question 7. In chapter 8, verse 5. When Jesus entered Capernaum, who came to him? A, a centurion pleading with him. B, a woman with a blood issue. C, a man with leprosy. In chapter 8, verse 5, when Jesus entered Capernaum, who came to him? A, a centurion pleading with him. B, a woman with a blood issue. C, a man with leprosy. Time. The correct answer is A, a centurion pleading with him. Question 8. In chapter 9, verse 24, what did the people do when Jesus said that the girl is not dead but sleeping? A, they were in disbelief. B, they ridiculed him. C, they were astonished. Chapter 9, verse 24, what did the people do when Jesus said that the girl is not dead but sleeping? A, they were in disbelief. B, they ridiculed him. C, they were astonished. Time. The correct answer is B, they ridiculed him. Question 9. In chapter 10, verse 34, what did Jesus come to bring on earth? A, peace and a sword. B, Peace and good news. C, a sword. In chapter 10, verse 34, what did Jesus come to bring on earth? A, peace and a sword. B, peace and good news. C, a sword. Time. The correct answer is C, a sword. Question 10. Question number 10. In chapter 11, verse 7, what did Jesus say to the multitudes concerning John? A. Did you come to see a branch shaken by the wind? B. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? C. Did you come to see a man dressed in king's clothing? In chapter 11, verse 7, what did Jesus say to the multitudes concerning John? A. Did you come to see a branch shaken by the wind? B. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? C. Did you come to see a man dressed in king's clothing? Time. The correct answer is B. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? Question 11. In chapter 12, verse 5, who did Jesus say that profaned the law on the Sabbath and were still blameless? A, the Pharisees and Sadducees. B, the priest in the temple. C, the scribes and Pharisees. In chapter 12, verse 5, who did Jesus say that profaned the law on the Sabbath and were still blameless? A, the Pharisees and Sadducees. B, the priest in the temple. C, the scribes and Pharisees. Time. The correct answer is B, the priest in the temple. Question 12. In chapter 13, verses 24 through 25, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. A, but while men slept, his enemies came and harvested all the good wheat. B, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. C, 
the word flourished because it was good and great was the harvest. In chapter 13, verses 24 through 25, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. A, while men slept, his enemies came and harvested all the good wheat. B, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. C, the word flourished because it was good and great was the harvest. Time. The correct answer is B. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Question 13. In chapter 14, verse 24, what happened to the boat that was in the middle of the sea? A. It sank to the bottom of the sea. B. It was tossed by waves, for the wind was contrary. C. The boat was made still by the words of Jesus. In chapter 24, verse 24, what happened to the boat that was in the middle of the sea? It sank to the bottom of the sea. B. It was tossed by waves, for the wind was contrary. C. The boat was made still by the words of Jesus. Time. The correct answer is B. It was tossed by waves, for the wind was contrary. Question 14. In chapter 15, verse 32, when Jesus saw that the people had been with him for three days, with nothing to eat, Jesus, A, had little compassion on them, B, had compassion on the multitude, C, had compassion, but did not want to do anything for them. In chapter 15, when Jesus saw the people had been with him for three days with nothing to eat, Jesus, A, had little compassion on them, B, had compassion on the multitude, C, had compassion, but did not want to do anything for them. Time. The correct answer is B. Had compassion on the multitude. Question 15. In chapter 16, verse 13, what did Jesus ask his disciples when he came into the region of Caesarea Philippi? A. Who do men say that I, the Son of God, am? B. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? C. Who do men say that I, the Son of Mary and Joseph, am? In chapter 16, verse 13, what did Jesus ask his disciples when he came into the region of Caesarea Philippi? A. Who do men say that I, the Son of God, am? B. Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? C. Who do men say that I, the son of Mary and Joseph, am? Time. The correct answer is B. Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? Question 16. In chapter 17, verse 4, what did Peter suggest that should be done at the transfiguration? A. To make three tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elisha. B, to make three tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. C, to make tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for God, and one for the Holy Spirit. In chapter 17, verse 4, what did Peter suggest that should be done at the transfiguration? A, to make three tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elisha. B, to make three tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. C, to make tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for God, and one for the Holy Spirit. Time. The correct answer is B, to make three tabernacles, one for Jesus, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Question 17. 
In chapter 18, verse 4, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? A. Whoever humbles himself as a little child. B. Whoever is a servant to all. C. Whoever is the last in the kingdom of heaven. In chapter 18, verse 4, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? A. Whoever humbles himself as a little child. B. Whoever is a servant to all. C. Whoever is the last in the kingdom of heaven. Time. The correct answer is A. Whoever humbles himself as a little child. Question 18. In chapter 20, verses 11 through 12, they complained against the landowner, saying, These last men have worked only for one hour, and you made them, A, equal to us, who have borne the burden and the heat of the day, B, equal to us, who have borne the burden and the cool of the day, C, equal to us who have borne the burden and the length of the day. In chapter 20, verses 11 through 12, they complained against the landowners, saying, These last men have only worked for one hour, and you made them, A, equal to us, who have borne the burden and the heat of the day, B, equal to us, who have borne the burden and the cool of the day, C, equal to us who have borne the burden and the length of the day. Time. The correct answer is A, equal to us who have borne the burden and the heat of the day. Question 19. In chapter 21, verse 12, what did Jesus do when he went into the temple of God? A, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and seats of those who sold lambs. B, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. C, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold goats. In chapter 21, verse 12, what did Jesus do when he went into the temple of God? A, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the muddy changers and seats of those who sold lambs. B, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. C, drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold goats. Time. The correct answer is B. Drove out all who bought and sold in the temple, overturned the tables of the money changers, and the seats of those who sold doves. Question 20. In chapter 22, verse 42, what did they say when Jesus asked them, what do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? A, they said to him, the son of man. B, they said to him, the son of God. C, they said to him, the son of David. In chapter 22, verse 42, what did they say when Jesus asked them? What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? A, they said to him, the son of man. B, they said to him, the son of God. C, they said to him, the son of David. Time. The correct answer is C. They said to him, the son of David. Question 21. In chapter 23, verse 38, how did Jesus say their house was left? A, destroyed. B, disarrayed. C, desolate. In chapter 23, verse 38, how did Jesus say their house was left? A, destroyed. B, disarrayed. C, desolate. Time. The correct answer is C, desolate. Question 22. 
Question 22. In chapter 24, verse 14, before the end comes, what will happen? A. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. B. Many will come in my name, saying I am the Christ. C. Many false teachers will cause lawlessness in the world. Time. The correct answer is A. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. Question 23. Chapter 25, verses 1 through 3. Why were five of the virgins said to be foolish? A. They took their lamps, but took no oil with them. B. They took their oil, but had no lamps. C. They took their lamps, but took nothing to light them. In chapter 25, verses 1 through 3. Why were five of the virgins said to be foolish? A. They took their lamps, but took no oil with them. B. They took their oil, but no, but had no lamps. C. They took their lamps, but took nothing to light them. Time. The correct answer is A. They took their lamps, but took no oil with them. Question 24. In chapter 6, verse 5, how did the hypocrites pray? A, standing in the temple courtyard and street corners. B, standing in the marketplace and on the corners of the streets. C, standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets. In chapter 6, verse 5, how did the hypocrites pray? A, standing in the temple courtyard and street corners. B, Standing in the marketplace and on the corners of the streets. C. Standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets. Time. The correct answer is C. Standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets. Question 25. In chapter 3, verse 12, when he cleans out his threshing floor... He will gather his wheat into the barn, but A, he will burn up the wheat with unquenchable fire. B, he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. C, he will burn up both the sheep and goats with unquenchable fire. In chapter 3, verse 12, when he cleans out his threshing floor, he will gather his wheat into the barn, but A, He will burn up the wheat with unquenchable fire. B, he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Or C, he will burn up both the sheep and goats with unquenchable fire. Time. The correct answer is B, he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. This concludes the semifinal round.